All right, howdy boyos, and welcome back to Arma 3. Today, not with a gameplay video. Well, technically this is gameplay, because it is, you know, gameplay of the game. But uh, we're playing the virtual arsenal. We're going to be going uh, through another mod review today. My character seems to be already tired. Um, we're taking a look at the Aegis mod. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm so sorry if I mispronounce it. There should be a little, like, pronunciation thing here, uh, for people like me who are stupid. Uh, anyway, we're going to be looking and reviewing the Aegis mod. The Aegis mod is, uh, a mod that basically builds on Arma Vanilla. And I'm glad that the developers contacted me on my Discord, because without that, I would have never seen this mod. I... Don't want to go into detail, but something that really put me off in playing this game is just stuff like this. I don't want to, I don't want to bitch about it, and I don't want to like make this a whole hate video. I think the Arma as a platform is absolutely amazing. People like RHS. Uh, I mean, RHS is not a person, but you know the team behind RHS, the team behind IFA, the team behind Faces of War, the team behind etc cup etc 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 i can go on and name every single mod that i'm aware of but i'm not going to but i think bohemia kind of like cheaped out making this like a 2035 future game where they didn't really have to pay royalties to everyone and they could come up with like oh yeah this is what you know this is basically a tar or an f2000 but let's look make it look a little bit different call it something else and i just never really got into um, I never really got into uh, Arma 3 Vanilla. I loved Arma 2 Vanilla. Big, big fan of Arma 2 Vanilla. Um, anyway, we're not gonna, this is not gonna be a Bohemia bashing video. I have to say, Arma as a platform is fucking amazing. And my YouTube channel wouldn't be where it was without Arma as a platform. And myself, I, every night, still play Arma 3 with the Third Rangers Battalion. And I yet have to be bored of it. If that, that maybe not, maybe makes sense, maybe doesn't make sense, but... Anyway, today we're going to take a look at the Aegis mod, which is a mod for Arma, and its intention, as far as I got from the description and what the developers told me, is to grab vanilla Arma 3 and push it beyond its boundaries, adding new equipment, new weapons, and basically um, further developing some factions, making it easy for people who... Uh, for example, let's say you're running like a, a wasteland server and you're like, you know what? It'd be cool. I want to stay with Arma Vanilla. I don't want to have a shit ton of mods on my server, but this mod will add a lot of shit, but it's not going to take away from Arma Vanilla, if that makes sense. So it's going to stay within the like era. It's going to add stuff, retextures or add some stuff like right over here. It's actually, it's, uh, it's mentioned in the description, if I just quickly throw on a uniform really quickly, uh, if we throw on this thing, and then we can actually throw on, oh, that's the wrong gun, we can actually throw a suppressor on the intervention now, which is kind of insane to me, because that's something I would love to have in RHS. I mean, uh, in the Third Rangers, we sometimes use the M200 uh, as a sniper rifle because it is just such a Groot gun and it kills people, whereas RHS guns sometimes have issues with it. Let's see. Move, you bitch. Makes me wish that I had one of these for our, uh, our third RB ops. Anyway, so this is going to add a shit ton of stuff. Um, I tried sorting it by mod, but there's actually already some things like, um, it says they're by Bohemia, but I have never, uh, I forgot what it is. I've never seen this one before. Um, now, I'm not really sure if this is something that the mod got from some files that were never actually released, or if I'm just retarded, I've never seen the black CSAT fatigues. Um, so I'm sure I'm going to miss a couple of things and my sincerest apologies to you and the mod developers um, I'm just going All right, I'm just gonna <laughs> No, I've seen these before but <laughs> this is weird interesting um, 
there's definitely there's definitely some stuff in here like i've never these things look way they, they look a bit off if you know what i mean like not in a bad way necessarily i've definitely i mean this is a bohemia thing but only when you mod like i have never this, i know this is a thing that was ported for armor 2 but this i don't know i've i've never seen this in vanilla armor 3 so there's definitely some new stuff in this mod i'm just gonna go down the list the ones that i definitely know are new um and then uh let's see we have this little list here and it says all these uh these symbols Again, my apologies if I think something is in the mod. For example, this black sea set thing is I've never seen it, and it's not. I don't know much about Armor Three Vanilla, and it would take you know way too much of a time to go figure out what is actually there, what isn't there. Um, so I'm just gonna go through all of these little Pegasus symbols. I guess that's what this is, like a Pegasus, right? It's like a bird with wings and a horse thing. Anyway, uh, can I put my gun, my arms down? There we go. So we have uh, several bandit smocks. It's apparently a new faction called the uh, bandits, which have uh, just a mix of colors, mostly though like red-ish, kind of like um, the bad guys in like any given movie. And uh, you have some casual clothes for a bank manager or whatever. Uh, we have some civilian clothing, a couple of new different sets. Although, to be honest with you, uh, I wouldn't want to. I wouldn't want to be a civilian mixed in with some bandits because that is obviously the same thing and that would mean you would get shot at as well so more civilian clothes this is like the most horrible like these this guy has to work right this is like a worker like this is not what you wear to your job right like you go to uh this is what you wear when you work on the street or something there's nothing bad about that but you're not going to wear that in public unless you're doing that i'm assuming because that's way too bright orange uh, there's some more civilian clothes, and we have another faction coming up, the Clouds. Uh, clouds is another faction. I am not really sure what it is. It just says it's another faction. Here we have uh, British as a faction, which is actually kind of cool um, because um, I love DDPM, the British like uh, early 90s, or sorry, late 90s, early 2000s, I think, Desert Gear. It looks really cool, and it's probably one of my favorites. Uh, when we're playing Arma as the British uh, with the third commando mod uh, one of my favorite camos to play with we have uh, Desert Digi for the Americans some more Desert Digi we have uh, so we have three variants of each one we have the regular rolled and we have one with this a t-shirt which is actually kind of nice to have then we have Des Desierto I have no clue what uh, like what flag that's like a made up flag but we have a desert sort of camouflage oh, we have an invisible demo de desert camouflage more British, we have DPM, which is their uh, their jungle, as far as I'm aware, camouflage. Uh, we have Felin, which I think is French, even though that's simple. That looks like um, a flag in Africa, like Nigeria, I think, has that flag with like green, white, green. But I think Felin is like a French camouflage. We have Flectarn. Okay, now I see it. So what is this? Hang on. Desierto. This is probably Spanish. Considering the flags are like made gray, this is French. You can see this is like uh, red, white, red, white, and blue. This is British. Obviously, it's hard, hard to see. This is Spanish, like 99% sure. Also, because I think the Spanish flag, so the Spanish flag is yellow. No, red, yellow, red. Or is it yellow, red, yellow? No, it's. Am I stupid? I have to Google this really quickly. All right, so the colors here kind of threw me off. This is, so the Spanish flag is red, yellow, red. However, it looks like they reversed the colors. But anyway, I don't want to get up into this for too long. Pretty sure this is a Spanish camo, Spanish flag. Because this is a French flag, it's just been like the, the color on it has been basically neutralized or maybe even... Um, I forgot the English word for it, but you can see here the German flag very clearly that this is red or sorry. <laughs> wow, red. It's black, red, yellow. Uh, Flectarn, which is the German cow. Actually, this one actually looks pretty good. I love this cow. I like this Flectarn. We have M98, which is a uh, Norwegian. That's actually a very nice camo. We have Multitarn, which is some more German camo. Never heard of that. We have NFP, which I would assume this could be Dutch. Red, white, blue. This could be Dutch camo. Never seen this before, and I... I mean, this is 2035, so maybe it's 2035 camo. 
this is Polish camo, looks like. Either Polish or... Um, yeah, Poland is white and red, so Polish camo. We have Pixelado, which again looks to be Spanish. Going through the list. Oh, sorry, going through the list. This, again, probably Polish. At least the, the flag is Polish. We have some more British. We actually have MTP this time for the Brits. Uh, this is kind of a green MTP, though. It looks a bit on the... Uh, Looks a bit M81 style. We have Urban Camo, British. We have Vegicam, which, like, it, uh, um, uh, it almost looks Estonian if you were to look at it from top to. I'm not going to do all these flags, by the way. I'm getting annoyed with it myself. But this could be, like, Italy, maybe. But that would be weird because this is. I don't know. This could be Italy, perhaps. Um, we got Vegato and Vegicam. We have VZ95. I'm not going to try. That's not a real flag, I'm pretty sure. And if it is, then I'm sorry. We have a VZ98. Actually, these look really, this looks really nice. I like this camo. This looks really, actually really good. He says as he's looking at his ass. Uh, and we have Woodland Digi and Woodland AAF rolled and regular. Then we have CTRG Recon, CTRG Rolled Up T. We have a, a new CSAT uniform. We have Flames, which apparently is also a new uh, faction. I like this uniform. I like this this like T-shirt slash. It's almost like a wife beater. It's not what you call it. What what is the official word that you guys call it over here in North America? Uh, uh, like a like like a sleeveless T-shirt. I'm gonna just go with that. It looks it looks pretty good. To be honest, it actually looks pretty good. We have a full. Gilly Jungle CSAT and NATO. Uh, looks like this look a little bit darker than the regular ones. We have functionary clothes. We have cl clothes that are uh, you know, like stuff that I would honestly want in a mod just to have some more immersion. Uh, we have common uniform for Gendarmerie for the police. We have a MTP Gilly NATO. We already have this in the basic mod, I'm pretty sure. Uh, Caberoi Smokes. These are probably also another faction. Judge by yeah, or another faction like fake focused on blue nice boots fucking loser um, We have light okay. These are just different fatigues for CSAT. It looks like Maritime fatigues for NATO very blue. I would not want to be that guy paramilitary uniform another faction with a fucking like with uh, like handcuffs and a baton green pilot coveralls police uniform Raven coveralls, which is another faction, I think. Reading the um, the description, Russian flag on there. Riot police. What's the difference between these two? Riot police is just a bit bluer. Okay. Scavenger syndicate. That's the so syndicate is like now they actually have a uniform or two. That's good. Instead of just having like banded clothes, you got some worker overalls, coveralls, worn clothes, orange. The shoes are nice. IDAP, and that's the, uh, oh, uh, that's actually the new thing. All right, after that, we're moving on to the vests. Um, I spotted with my little eye, uh, not this one. Oh, well, these ones are something I've, these ones I've never seen before, but I spotted these two, the ELBV harness, and it said it's not by Bohemia, so I feel comfortable saying these are, uh, these are probably in the mod because I only have the Ages mod turned on. Other than that, we're going to move down. I'm sure I'm missing some of these that maybe or may not be new in a mod, but they don't say it. They also are just say they're from Bohemia, even though I've never seen them and I do check out the vanilla stuff quite often. Here we have the actual Aegis stuff. We have the Carrier Grenade Launcher Rig. I think that's what GL stands for in this. Or maybe it stands for the, the big rig. Like... I'm not really a big fan of these like giant, like super heavily armored guys. Uh, they almost look like the um, what are those guys called from Modern Warfare 2? Uh, the like the guys who aren't fully the ter Terminator. No, not Terminators, but um, the bulldozers from uh, Payday 2 and uh, Juggernauts. That's what they're called from Modern Warfare 2. Uh, these are just different camos. I think these camos match most. Of this. this is actually a really nice. Uh, color uniform or vest here um they these will match the camouflages uh, for example this one will match oh doesn't match this one let's turn this on there we go and now it totally matches it and then let's grab the pantera one uh, and boom 
I do like that. I do like when it matches it. It looks actually like it belongs onto the uniform. And that looks pretty good. Uh, we have Pixelado, Pustinia. Oh, that's actually the Russian camouflage. Look at that for a second. Yeah, that looks that looks really that looks really good. That looks or po I, I said Polish, whatever, not Russian. This does look really good. This looks clean and slick. We have Sage, MTP, we have basically all these uh, these colors we had before. Then we have some new carrier rigs with Coyote, Dits, are these are just the same ones. Oh yeah, this is definitely a Spanish flag. Now you can see it's a Spanish flag for sure. German flag, we have the, oh, oh nice, a uh, great uh, carrier. Different camouflages right here. This again, looks like it could be Dutch. I mean, that's a very Dutch flag. Uh, Olive, Pantera, we have, like again, all these camos, but oh, this is, a, okay, this is a Czechoslovak flag is this what that is too it doesn't really look oh i'm stupid that's just a meme it's definitely the czechoslovak flag czechos no Ch not czechoslovak it's uh either slovakia it's czechia right or is it slovakia or is it the old czechoslovak flag i don't I've not been in Europe for so long, and I've already forgotten all the flags. I almost forgot the Spanish flag. I should. I. I really am ashamed. Uh, we're just going through these. We have just different versions. We have the light rigs, the heavy rigs. Now we have the the intermediate rig between like the light, uh, like these ones and these like super big like fucking shoulder pad guys. Uh, I don't even know if this actually does anything for your character or if it just protects them more or not. Um, you have special carrier rigs, which makes them even. Even well, actually, these are not as big. Their crotch isn't protected, but they still have a lot of shoulder armor here. All the camos in the world again. Chest rigs, uh, no armor, but you know, just if you need to have uh, some some weight. Actually, a wa water bag on the back as well. Uh, we have ELBV harnesses again, a sand one as well. We have carrier rigs. The these are like the standard. Oh, this look. Oh, oh shit! Is this. Wait, these, oh, these are just the same color. Khaki and olive. I'm not really too sure. Oh, okay. I, hmm, that's a weird, it's a weird tan of green. It's weird, not tan, it's a weird, like, shade of green. Um, we have uh, LBV, Grenadier Harness, Black, Khaki, and Sand. LBV Harness without Grenadier, Black, Khaki, and Sand. We have C-Set Rebreather. These are, def some of these are definitely in vanilla as well, I think. Uh, tactical vests, EOD vests. Oh, these are eyed up. I keep, I keep going through the down this list, not realizing. So these are obviously not in the mod. This is from I, from the eyed up um, DLC or the Red Cross DLC. Um, let's throw on the Dutch uniform. Uh, I'm gonna assume it's a Dutch uniform, and you know we'll do some Dutch proudness. Let's grab the uh, light rig because I think the light rig actually looks the best in my opinion. Carrier rig, light should be up here somewhere. And FP, there we go. I think this looks the best. I don't really like the heavy. I feel like it looks way too big on the back. Uh, we're gonna go with the NFP. Um, then backpacks. We have uh, a blue Bergen, and this is why I'm confused, right? Right? Because I have n I play Arma Vanilla. I use some Arma Vanilla stuff, you know, the carry all backpack Coyote, perfectly fine backpack to use when you're playing Arma Three with like modern mods. Uh, or even when you're playing World War II mods sometimes. But I've never seen a red, green, or blue Bergen, but it said it's made by Bohemia. So you see where why I'm confused? I'm not really too sure. And I know, like, I know these two I've never seen before, but they're Bohemia Interactive. So maybe these are files that they grabbed? Uh, I'm not sure. And maybe one of the devs could let me know, because I'm, I'm really confused. Anyway, let's go down to the actual ones. The Soul Pack, Green Hex. We have UK MTP. The giant uh, Bergen backpacks, which I still don't know if there's a real need ever to use these. Because how many magazines can you put in here? Let's go to, uh, let's grab a regular, uh, let's grab the MX. Because I know that's, I know, I know that gun. And then let's go to backpack. Why would you need a backpack with 48 fucking magazines, man? Like, that's insanity. Um, I mean, you could have one ammo bearer for your entire platoon. I mean, that'd be like, what? About one, like about a ma- Well, no, if you have two people in your platoon to carry a backpack with like 50 mags, 
that means that you basically can give about four mags to every person. So it makes sense from that perspective, but it doesn't make sense because that would be insanity to carry such a big backpack in like 50 magazines. Carry all backpack black, khaki, tropic. We have uh, GMG backpacks, which you can deploy into machine guns or grenade launchers or whatever. Here we have the GMG, so it's a machine gun or general. This is, that's... A, GMG sounds like a general, like, like a general machine gun. Um, we have a green khaki, different uh, factions, different colors. We have a Mark 30, uh, which I think is a grenade launcher. Um, we have a Mark, th I, I, I don't know what these are, honestly, because I've never played Armor Vanilla, so don't quote me on this. Uh, just different color backpacks for, you know, when you want to be able to carry a backpack with a gun on it, but you don't necessarily want to... Uh, have the color that they give you up there in the Bohemia versions. We have uh, mortar tubes in different colors. I'm not going to go over this in too much detail. This is all the same colors and different, well, the same backpack every time, which is different and things inside. Uh, we have Kitback Black, Kitback Digi, Khaki, Tropic, Kitback UK, Patrol Backpack. I actually like this backpack. It's like the Arma 2 Bergen, in my opinion. Uh, we have uh, different color backpacks here again for Titan Launcher. Uh, UAV backpacks, which are actually I've never really seen. I've never seen these used myself uh, Because I haven't played the uh, IDAP DLC. I've only bought it just for zoo stuff uh, But I do like the looks of this. I do like the look Of these backpacks. I kind of wish you could actually put stuff in them I'm pretty sure yeah, you cannot put any stuff in them because they're already filled with the AR2 or medical uh, Medical drones. All right, let's go to the backpack because it's really big Actually, is there, an, is there an NLP or an NLF backpack or isn't there? I didn't actually see one. Hang on, let's see. I think I, no, I don't think I saw one of those. I don't think I saw a uh, NL, NLF, NLP, whatever it is called. NFP, sorry. Nope. All right. Well, moving on to headgear. We have... Uh, let's go down. We have this one, which I have never seen. Uh, but we're going to stick to the ones that I know are new before people get mad at me, even though... Even though I know, I know for a fact, these these two helmets are not in RHS or sorry, not in vanilla. And this is obviously uh, the Mark Six and the Mark Seven helmet uh, for uh, the British Armed Forces. Uh, I can't see. Maybe if we see anything here quickly, uh, it might be like a new. These berets might be new, although I don't know if that's true. These are definitely not by Bohemia, or at least it says they are. Um, Let's move down and go to the oh black turban. I've never I, that might be in here. That might, that already might be in there. Now I'm starting to doubt myself. I hate myself. Uh, let's go to the ones that are, we are know are new. The brown hex assassin helmet, which are the ugliest helmets in the world. Uh, a bandana with a cap, kind of cool. Basic police helmet, basic helmet sand, beanie, no headset with headsets, berets. Booney hats in different colors for like basically all the factions that they put in. We have the NFP camo as well. Uh, Panthera, Pixelado, Pustinia, uh, Tropic, UK, MTP, Vegicam, Vegeta, Vege, Vegetato, uh, VZ95, VZ98, Woodland Digi, CTRG, Bucket Hat. Oh yeah. Uh, we have a cap that says life for life. Malden Tours, uh, Greek Police. Cero, Tropic, uh, Cap AF, Checkered, bro, oh my god, that's one of those stupid hats. Sage, Gray, different camo helmets, MTP, oh, I like this little, like, motorbike helmet idea. Uh, we have Olive, Tropic, Olive, oh, I like, I like this camo helmet. This is actually not a bad looking one. Uh, really wish that we would have that in a third RB for, like, the sniper team. Like something like just like this won't have to be very complicated uh, UKM TP ballistic mandible again the same thing different crew helmets different colors uh, CTR CTRG almost said SDRG CTRG different color different helmets deck crew uh, Which is stuff from the um, The new DLC which I think they might have repurposed and made in different colors which actually makes it look kind of like Star Wars uh, X-wing squadron like uh, red one standing by blue five standing by Violet 14 standing by white one etc etc. I went away over with that. Oh my god look, look at how stupid this looks god damn it I'm not trying to make fun of the mod because it's a cool mod that they added so much new stuff in but I hate this helmet like who who th who wants to play Arma 
and be like, oh yeah, I'll, I'll be an alien. I'll be a space alien, man. We have different helmet, uh, different ear protectors, more different helmets. Um, we have uh, we have headphones. What the fuck? Headsets, heli pilot helmets, which are uh, these are definitely from the BAF. Actually, this is not BAF. Um, um, I'm saying sorry, F AAF. Sorry, I don't know why I said BAF. I meant AAF. Uh, we have dark paint, light, uh, comma helmets. Oh my god, these stupid military caps. I hate these like weird caps. Hel well, this is actually a nice. This is a nice color. That's actually a nice color helmet. Modular helmet woodland. We have the Mark Six, Mark Seven woodland. We have uh, range masters, and then we are basically there because the last one is the tactical helmet, tactical headset, and we have the t stealth combat helmet sand, which actually looks more greeny than browny, but sure. Uh, let's. Is there like a Dutch helmet? Like a uh, NF, NF, N, what are they called? NFP? There's a boonie hat NFP. I don't think there might not be a actual helmet NFP though, but that's fine. All right, after all that, uh, there is, oh, a couple of things right here we might as well take a look at very quickly. We have different, ooh, that's actually kind of cool. I should probably get rid of my hat for this. Uh, there. Ooh, that's actually a very nice skull balaclava. We have a candy skull, a regular skull, syndicate, thug life, toothless. Uh, we have different. This is just for diving goggles. We have shamogs, shooter glasses, shooter shades, stealth balaclava sands, desert or stealth balaclava with goggles as well. Tactical glasses, yellow and camo. Which actually, this actually looks kind of cool. This looks very stupid. But I think that's just a VR. Oh, no, it's not the VR goggles. What is it? Is it the tactical? Oh, it's actually the tactical glasses, but they're. Oh god, that looks it looks baller. Tactical shades? I've never seen those before. Uh that actually looks baller as shit. Although that might not be the most useful thing to have in front of your eyes, Irish. Um Over here. There's not not much new. Uh this is something that I like. It's just for fluff. This looks really weird, but when you put a helmet on, let's just put on this helmet. It's just for fluff. Uh you can add this to your screen. It might even give you night vision. No, it won't. Okay, it will not give you night vision, but it's just fluff added to your character. So you kind of just so you can customize yourself. As you can see, it fits on most helmets. Kind of, you know, kind of fit. Well, not hats, but it will fit on most helmets quite good. Um, and it just looks kind of nice to have something on your helmet. You know, whether you have a green or a regular. And then we have some thermal imaging night optics. I'm gonna assume that's thermal imaging. Yeah, that looks really fucking creepy in the arsenal. Let's not not let's not do that. Um, where's night vision? Um, that's that. It's one new binocular color. It's the gray laser designator. They have uh, they have different colors of these usually, uh, but this time it's actually in gray, which is kind of nice. Uh, and then last but not least, the weapons, of course. Before I totally go off of uh, off course, let's go to the pistols first. We have the four four. I almost said oh well, uh, five seven. This is a four five point forty five ACP. Uh, we have a couple of things on there, but these are just regular vanilla stuff. Let's fire this one. I like those death animations. That looks different. Hmm. That was a bad shot, that last one. Interesting. All right, we have the C1911, which is a... A 1911, but it's like a modern version of it. Well, that sounds good. Those headshot, those animations of people dying like that are getting really weird. People like dancing every time you headshot them. It's a good indication though for at a distance, like you know if you headshot them or not. But still, then we have a Mark 26 revolver. Can it attach anything? No. It's a .45 ACP revolver. Fuck, gotta reload again. We have uh, the P07 and the P19. Uh, the P07 is a different color uh, than the regular one right here, which just looks like a G17 to me, because it actually has made in Austria. This even says Glock, I think. Um, and then the P99, which I recall from somewhere. I can't seem to find it in the pistols, but I remember there being a pistol called the P99. But we have it in three different colors. Let's fly, it's fire the black one. Oh, 
Oh, yeah. I kind of feel bad killing these VR entities over and over and over. We have one new launcher. Uh, the RPG42 Alamut, or Alamut, is just the uh, regular version. We now also have a black one, which we might as well uh, go ahead and fire. Let's put a rocket in. I'll put a rocket in there, why not? It's it's fun to shoot an RPG, isn't it? Might be loud. <laughs> Holy fuck! Alright, that was uh, that was something. I will put those away, and now we're going on to guns. Like I said, I already showed you the suppressed version of the uh, M320. Uh, weapon like the Zavir, according to the description, also have a suppressor now. Which is interesting, because this is the fucking machine gun. Can't say I'm a giant fan of that. Sounds really weird and gimmicky, but hey, if it works, it works. Um, anyway, let's move down to the actual new weapons that we're here for, probably. Uh, we have the AA-12. It's called the AA-40, but I think this is an AA-12. And I've not actually fired this. This might be really fucking amazing. We have... Oh, let's grab some of these. Okay, so we have pellets. Right, let's do this. We have pellets. <laughs> Okay, so you can see there's a helmet exploding on the ground. Let's get slugs. So this is like a single round. I mean, I know I know what the difference is, but I'm just showing you. So I feel like slugs is definitely more effective when you're trying to hit a specific target, whereas with uh, pellets, you're gonna just not be able to hit something that specifically. Now HE. God, they should definitely not give that this gun to people on a live server. How far does this go? That's the question. Let's reload one more HE. Let's see if we can hit something standing, someone standing way out there. This goes up to 300 meters as well. What the fuck? It's like a grenade launcher. Are you kidding? It bounced. Okay, so ranging it up. Let's watch this happen. Let's just watch this from a distance. They just stop? Fuck! Imagine you're being charged by like a large amount of enemies. You just get an AA-12 and get the HE rounds. Just start shooting in the sky. We have the Bulldog with slugs and pellets. Which is a uh, very interesting looking shotgun actually. Looks very weird. We have two different colors, the, the Bulldog 12 gauge black and regular. Let's pick the black one. I'm not sure what the F button is here. Actually, this is a pretty cool looking, I like the look of this. And it sounds pretty nice. I thought you could put a scope on there, even though I don't know why I put like a bigger scope on there and then like a one times. But it, that's actually a little nice gun you got there. Then we have the Cyrus 93, which is a different color. We have the EGL 40 millimeter, which is actually, it looks like it's just a grenade launcher. Let's fire this one, just for one round. Uh, oh, what the fuck? It's like, oh yeah, it's just a grenade launcher, but it's like a main weapon. It's kind of weird. Oh! <laughs> Oh god. Oh god armor. Why why are you so brutal? Oh, that was a bad shot. Uh that's actually a little cool like um it's almost like that um M320, but it looks like it almost like the M320 grenade launcher, the Katiba in 10, the carbine version and the grenade launcher version. I'm not going to show these cuz these are just the regular armor of vanilla guns with different camouflages. I'm going to fire those. The M4 SSAS 12 gauge Oh my god. I was expecting a bigger boom, but that's that was actually a good sounding gun. We have the, or a, a good, like, I don't know, it was a very, like, uh, satisfying gun to shoot. The Mar 10 in a different... Oh my god, I almost had to seize. I was really close, my apologies. The different camo, different camo versions of Mar 10. We have the Mar MGL 40 mil, which should be an automatic grenade launcher of six... This looks a bit glitched. Did we take the side off? No, we can't. 
All right, this looks a bit glitch for now. Or, well, I say glitch, I mean bug. Especially if it's a reload animation. I'm not, I don't have to reload. I just press R every time I have to reload. Okay, that seems sort of OP. So that's gonna obviously broken at this point. Um, we have the Mark 14 762, which is just a, a black version of the Mark 14. We have the Mark 14 in wood, which actually makes it look like a like an actual M14, which is really nice. We have a Mark 16 556, which is a scar. We have it in regular black khaki. We have, we have it in CQC, which shortens the barrel even more in black khaki. We have the grenade launcher version in regular tan, black, and khaki. We have a hammer, which is a, a machine gun version, I think. Let's see the difference. It has a 100 round or 150 round belt. And we have that black and khaki as well. So let's fire uh, the grenade launcher version, because you can fire both the grenade launcher and the main gun. I like the look of this. I like the sound of this one. It sounds very beefy. Grenade launcher animation's good. Yeah, yeah. I, no, I like I like this one. I like the sight. Fact that like like a little sight for the grenade launcher as well. Not like a little um, uh, English word is hard. Not a little ladder sight, but it has an actual sight, uh, like a little dot that you can move. Uh, and then we have the hammer version of this, which is going to be pretty insane. I'm assuming. This is just 556 five, death. Because you get 150 rounds if you pick the uh, other box. The, well, the other drum, I should say, not the other box. Let's see if there's a difference. I don't think there will be a difference in the look of it, but that animation is really fucking sweet. Oh, the last shot killed him. Woo! All right. Moving on, we have the Mark 17. We have a Mark 17 762, black, tan, and khaki. We have a Mark 17 CQC version in tan, black, and khaki. We have the Mark 17 DMR version, which is obviously a longer than the regular version. And we have a Mark 17 grenade launcher version. Let's fire the DMR version. Definitely a uh, a little nice sounding gun. It sounds pretty heavy. Um, can I wish maybe like a little bit more bass, and that would be amazing. Oh, there's no the downside is there's no like um, I'm so used to RHS and like being able to put foregrips and everything. Well, this comes with a foregrip, but like uh, it'd be nice to get a, a Mark 17 with like a foregrip on there, and not just a um, a bipod. Oh, click that away accidentally. Uh, then we have the 17. We have the Mark 18 ABR, which looks very much like what is that one called? Uh, where is that gun? There, it's one of the sniper DLC guns, isn't it? Or am I stupid? I swear, right here. Oh, is this a, it's just a different color. Okay, I was about to say, like, am I going? I know this is a gun. I've seen. Oh, it just says gray. I'm, I am stupid. Then we have the Mark 20 in olive black. And the grenade launcher version in olive and black, which actually the black one looks really sweet. Uh, the Mark 200 in black and khaki and sand. And the Mark 20C, the carbine version in olive and black. The Navid in black and green. The Punisher 25 mil, which we have to take a look at, obviously. It looks like the XM25. I'm assuming you can set this to a range. Let's try this. I'm not really too sure how I can set it though. That's that's a horrible death. There should, there should be a way to set this to a range. I'm trying to press all the buttons that I know. Does it has night vision scopes? So usually it's a T tab. Maybe it has to be night vision. I actually, I'm not really sure, but I'm gonna assume, oh God, that's horrible. I'm gonna assume you can set this to, it explode. Let's say you're watching down a street and you know there's a guy behind a wall, seven houses down the street on the left side. You aim 
on the ground next to the wall where the guy is hiding. You aim. You select that range. You aim up. Shoot a grenade. And the, ex the grenade will explode right next to the wall. And it will hopefully, you know, incapa inca incapacitate or kill the guy who you're, you know, trying to get to. Um, and it's a really nice gun. It's something that I can't remember what game had at first. Battlefield, maybe? An XM25. Maybe it was a Battlefield game where I used this for the first time. Maybe it was Battlefield 2. I don't remember. It's one of those games. The Raheem in black. Ooh, we have the L85, well, SA80 um, in uh, 556. We have it in black. We have it in camo. We have it in grenade launcher version. And we have the LSW as well, which is the light support up. And let's fire these. I actually like these guns. I think they look really cool. Um, the five five, the both the SA eighty and the uh, LW. Saw my eye. Uh, really cool looking guns. They're cool. It's cool that they give us the option to go for different colors as well. I like that honestly. So we have the sort of sandy color black, the original like a tan green handle and camo. We have SA eighty with the grenade launcher and with the LSW. Then we have the SPMG in Tropic. Uh, the TRG in black, the TRG20 in khaki, TRG21 in black, and the TRG21 in khaki. The ver grenade launcher version of those guns with black and khaki. Um, and then we have the Vermin SMG in black and khaki, not just in like the weird yellowish color uh, that the regular one comes in. We have the Warfare 50. We'll get to that in a second. We have the Zephyr in black and green hex. Now, with Warfare 50, to me, it just looks like a giant fucking 50 cal. Let's put it to the test. It actually is a test 12.7. Let's do this. It, hang on, let's fire this as quick as... Hang on. That was the quickest I could fire it. Maybe you could try one more time. Let's just go prone. That was, that, that you can fire this pretty damn quick. Um, oh my god, that's actually... Uh, a pretty damn looking, interesting looking gun. Is there, uh, there's probably like some big, yeah, I could probably like put some big scopes in here. Oh, before I forget, I actually almost forgot about these scopes. We have some different scopes. We have an ACOG with a little red dot on top. We have a CCO, a DCL120, the SRS, and a TWS sniper. Now, the TWS sniper, I'm sure, is just a TWS, like it's the um, thermal sight, but for snipers, let's take a look at it. Yeah, it has like more mill dots and stuff so you can actually see what you're shooting at and try and range it yourself. With the SRS, which looks kind of weird. Let's look at this. Interesting. Hmm. We have the... D Let's save this for last because this is that's just a giant fucking joke, isn't it? The, the CCO, which is a close combat optic, I think what it stands for. And we have the ACOG, which is probably one of my favorite sites. Uh, you know, you got the red dot on top and you get the regular ACOG sight below it. However, this is DCL120. Like, what the fuck is this? Like, what does this do? Like, why is this so big if it just does nothing? Maybe there's something that I don't know about this thing that it does? I just quick scope everyone, but that's not a hard with a... I don't know what this thing does though. Maybe the developers could tell me in the comment section or tell me... Uh, it seems like you can turn it on and there's like buttons on the side. This looks very complicated. Way too complicated for me. To, it's gonna go over my head for sure. Uh, last but not least, um, we have uh, some vehiculars. Now... I it's gonna be hard for me to find the ones that are new because uh oh that's some this one this one this one that one's definitely new I <laughs> know the tractor from uh, Arma 2 I'll never forget that was a uh, that was a thing um now the, I'm I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna actually lie to you it's gonna be hard for me to find I know this one is new by because it says by night uh, I'm definitely gonna this is by night so the medical ones seem to be by night just like different versions. Of the ones that are already in game but like i said i don't play arma vanilla enough to know the difference between uh or to see from a distance 
Um, but those ones were definitely new. These ones, the Marshall Medical, the Gorgon Medical, and the Marid Medical. Under the helicopters, we have the AH-1 Navajo, which is funny because it's also a Indian tribe, but it's obviously an Apache. I want to just go through these because there's not a lot of these vehicles we can go through them. We have a Pawnee in different colors. Uh, in this is I don't know what the color difference between these two, but this is obviously a CSAT or a AAF version. Um, we have a medical pelican. I'm not really sure. I mean, these are apparently added by the by the modders, but I don't see the difference between those. We have a, a different version of the um, MCH 96 Mohawk. There should be some more over here. There should be some of these should be different. Uh, I saw one here earlier, the Cloud Corporation, one of those new factions. Actually, this looks pretty nice. I like the uh, the font on this, and the colors are actually are actually pretty nice. I gotta say. Uh, under here, there's this another AAF color version, which apparently is made by Roach. But then again, I don't know if that's true. Uh, I don't play Arma enough. And there is a medical Ghost Hawk. I don't know if there's anything under Fixed Wing. I did read one thing, if I'm not wrong. It should be the Samson. Oh, okay, so it's the C-192 Samson, or basically just a C-130. 24 passengers plus, uh, well, 25 passengers plus a pilot plus a co-pilot. And we get it in different, ooh, different camouflages as well. I like these. And so we have a, like a British camo, an American camo, AAF, just a regular gray, and an Op 4 for CSET. So we get a new transport plane, which is nice because there isn't a plane in Arma besides maybe the Blackfish and uh, Xeon, but you gotta, how do people do these transport? 17, no, 16, and, oh, damn, 34. I guess, but these are like, not really like plane planes as much as we know them, if that makes sense. Like this is a plane, uh, wrong button. This is a plane like we know it. And uh, I don't know, I feel like that is um, something that I sort of miss in Arma sometimes. The F-38 Thunderbolt, which is obviously the F-35. Um, actually, this might be a VTOL. It should be a VTOL, even a different camo. Yeah, this is VTOL. Oh, God. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, there we go. I can fly that. There you go. I'm not stupid. Way too loud, holy shit. All right, let's do uh, vectoring increase. Slowly start moving up. And there we go, now we have a fully operational jet fighter. Well, I like that animation of the bottom of the Shouldn't even pop, right? Oh my god, that's a fun game. Ejector seat, something that I think is really cool. Uh, they have ejector seats in Arma, and there should be a parachute. Uh, let's just deploy the parachute. Again. Oh, it already did it for me. Okay, that sucks. Oh, I actually got an achievement for that. Well, you never, you never know. I just got an achievement while making a fucking video on uh, on the new. Uh, that's funny, on this new thing. There was one thing I missed. There should be a Zamac over here. This one. So there's a uh, MLRS version. So we have a, basically a Grad and a Zamac in one. So we have this uh, this rocket launcher truck. We can probably just go in the driver's in the gunner seat and try this shit out. I was just being quiet because I was just trying to like see how long it would take. I was like counting in my head and then I was reading something on the left side and I totally didn't pay attention anymore. I'm fucking stupid. Last but not least, the Jackal uh, little British vehicle. 
um, which has uh, either a machine gun on top, which is a 50 cal, or it has, uh, oh, usually it has like a gunner right here. Um, basically, for me, this was very weird and sometimes a bit hard and alien to do because I'm not really sure what is in the mod and what isn't, like what is, I mean, I know if it says it right here, but, you know, I know I'm not going to go back to the uniforms, but sometimes I was like, you know, this is something I've never seen before in, in Arma Vanilla, but it says it's by Bohemia, but I've never seen, I've never seen one of these backpacks. And I'm just like, maybe these are hidden files, but they say they're by Bohemia, but I've never seen them. Um, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, though it was a bit different from what I normally do. Um, I'm not a big fan of Arma 3 Vanilla, but it's cool that these guys got this mod and worked on making armor 3 vanilla as extensive as possible without going away from its base material meaning you get like l85s you get um these especially british stuff that's not in armor vanilla but you can now have an armor vanilla server where you can you know have british forces or british unlocks being part of your king of the hill stuff and it's pretty cool and i kind of wish they would um maybe work forward on this and you know add some more stuff you know let's add some german stuff besides flectarn add like german weapons and i think it'd be a really cool mod for people looking to um continue with arma vanilla but they and they don't want to del dive into you know a lot of complicated rhs stuff and just continue on with their arma vanilla stuff this is a very cool mod hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to see awesome and i would love to see you in the next one cheers